the brain is uncharted territory. And it's very much like exploring space and uh, reaching a new planet, a new galaxy. And you feel a little bit like uh, Christopher Columbus arriving on the shores and discovering uh, the inhabitants there. And as we go to these areas of the brain, the brain is revealing its secrets. And once you know that, then of course you're in a position to try to repair and improve what the brain does in patients that are suffering from neurologic or psychiatric conditions. We've been doing uh, deep brain simulation for about 20 years here, and in fact, our center is considered world leading uh, in this area. We have the opportunity to treat patients from all over the world. Okay. We've discovered that uh, we can um, go into various circuits in the brain that control, for example, your movement, uh, your mood, uh, even your memory, and we can adjust the activity of those circuits. We can turn them up or down, very much like you would adjust the volume on your radio. And uh, we can intervene by placing electrodes in these circuits and hooking them up to pacemakers. And using electricity, we can deliver currents and really change the activity of these circuits. That time? A little warm sensation. Sensation, OK. And good. the patients are typically awake for these operations because they have to help us in guiding these operations and pinpointing where to go in the brain. Big light, left-hand side. Big light, OK. What else? Very, very pleasant. So our, our entire focus during the surgery is to really identify the right target in the brain and to make sure that we can give that patient the best improvement that is possible. Not only was getting out of bed difficult, those everyday things of picking up a phone, of picking up a paper, thinking about what to have for supper. It was a pretty dark time. Well, I guess at my worst, I didn't want to live anymore. But I, I looked at the kids and I looked at Gary and, and I, I had to. I obviously had to fight because I had a lot to fight for. We've discovered that using PET imaging that we are, with these circuits in the brain that are control sadness and depression are overactive. And to our surprise, uh, we, and to, really to our amazement, we've been able to show that when we place electrodes within these circuits, we can turn down the activity uh, in these depression circuits and these sadness circuits. It was really, really amazing. It was like a light switch went on. So dramatic, so remarkable. I was back with my kids. I was participating in their lives. In two-thirds of the patients that we do this, their depression lifts. And really, this is a, an amazing discovery, which I think uh, is now having uh, impact on our patients and has the potential of really being a game-changer and transformative. I really think of Dr. Lozano and Dr. Kennedy as giving me the opportunity to to live my life again. They help bring a family together again. Miracles do happen. It's been one of the most satisfying things in my career to see someone who was so ill and to be able to essentially make them back into a normal, healthy and happy uh, individual. Putting up buttons and putting on socks and tying your shoes was a real hassle. Just the little things in life, the fine things like, like my work, drawing, writing down things, and then you would get fatigued more and, uh, and I couldn't do sports anymore, couldn't play with the children. And eventually it got to the point where I didn't want to go out. You come to the point where you got to do something because you have no lifestyle. We've now treated about 600 patients uh, in Toronto with deep brain stimulation for Parkinson's and in many cases we've been able to make them just about normal with respect to their motor function. And so it's really had a major impact. And this in turn gives them a fresh new outlook in life. You can make breakfast for the kids. 
I could run. Actually, I could start jogging again and um, playing with my children and functioning more as a father. Like, things are brighter and bigger and prettier and smell nicer and like, you stop and smell the roses a bit more too. I'm just enjoying time, life right now. And I, I've been given a lot, so I appreciate that. It smacks you, you know, it just kind of, oh, oh my God. And you go home and you think about that and you think, what are the ramifications? What's that going to look like? Alzheimer's is scary. You go into nursing homes and see people, uh, uh, it's just laying in bed all day long, hoping, waiting to die. One of the most exciting areas that we're working on is the possibility of using deep brain stimulation to improve memory and cognitive function. And we've started in the world's first, uh, we've started a trial of deep brain stimulation in patients with Alzheimer's disease. Was there anybody else in the boat? I'm trying to think of a, if it was one of the boys or... Um, one of your kids? Yeah, we've been out in the boat. Did we... Did I catch a fish? I catch a fish. And it looks very promising. It looks that like indeed we're able to turn on the memory circuits in the brain and increase their activity. And it looks like we may have some impact on cognitive function. Two lights up there. I got back my life. My future. My golden years. He's doing well and that's all we want. He's as good today as he was then, which more than satisfies my hopes, you know, like that he would be still doing fine. You know, we're just sitting on the deck, waiting for your grandchildren. This is the first step towards developing this therapy. We will need much more work we will need to spend uh, many more years of de developing this. And if this improves their cognitive function, then this will be a major achievement, which I think will have major impact uh, in the millions of patients uh, that have Alzheimer's disease. I think as I, I grow older, I might grow smarter. <laughs> now we can live our life and plan our life like we did as newlyweds. <laughs> We are only seeing the beginning of uh, where DBS uh, will lead. And we want to push uh, the frontiers of this field. And I think uh, we are at the right time. We are at the right place. And when in fact, the work that is being done here and the discoveries that are being done here uh, are being felt uh, throughout the world.